we are going to get a game after all here in Thiruvananthapuram. The third T20 international is from the Sports Hub here in Thiruvananthapuram. Virat Kohli will have the coin in his possession. Tails is the call. It is a tail, so Kane, Williamson, New Zealand have won the toss. What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a bow first. This is what we now have. Eight overs aside. Power play just two overs. And just concentrate on that last line a little bit. Four bowlers can bowl a maximum of two overs. 48 deliveries. India will be looking to get double that. Get 96 to 100 runs in those 48 deliveries to set uh, New Zealand to win the uh, series. Yes, and I think Trent Bolt will certainly ball to overs in his quota. With the first ball, Trent Bolt, Roy Charma. Off straight away with a single. Right, there he goes. Now this time to the left of Sodi. And beats it for four. Catch! Well, no timing at all, but he'll still beat the fielder. Uh, yes, just enough to beat him for four. Right, there he goes. Now this time to the left of Sodi. And beats it for four. Catch! Well, no timing at all, but he'll still beat the fielder. Uh, yes, just enough to beat him for four. It's beautifully bowled again. It's not easy batting. Should be taken on the edge of the circle about 10 yards back. Sander catches it this time. <laughs> Sander catches it. It was an easy catch. I mean, it was in the air for a long time, but really Shikhar Dhawan had no choice but to go after it. How unlucky can one get? It's 15 for one. Right, out comes Virat Kohli. He'll watch Rohit Sharma's in strike. Gets all of it. There's a fielder there. The catch is taken. And then guess what? Mitch Santner is making up for all those catches he dropped. He's made this look easier than it actually was. He knows that there is no option. He's got to go for the big shot. Not quite able to control it. It's bounced a little bit more. And a fine catch from Santner. Rohit Sharma has gone for 8. 15 for 2. Right, new man in his shreyas, I hear it's a hat-trick ball. Just pop across for a single. It's played in the gap. And will be four, inevitably. It was timed so well. Right, goes through with the shot and times it beautifully. Oh, what fun it is to watch Virat Kohli bat. He's just playing in a different league. What a shot. There he goes. It's in the air. And the catch will be taken. Virat Kohli looking for room on the onside. A bit cramped. The run on the Purim falls silent. He was looking to get onto the back foot. Give himself time to play the pull shot. He knew this wasn't a page where he could hit in the V in the front. So Kohli's gone for 13. It's 30 for 3. Three wickets down. And Manish Pandey coming into bat now. Right, Manish Pandey. In there. He'll take a single. Everything is plus. Shreyas Ayer had to dart back. He's young. He'll make it. A wicket fell, but 13 came from it. It's 31 for three. He's come back to bowl his second. Pace taken off. It's going off the turf in good pace. That's going to be four runs. He's gone. Over long gone. Just enough power to take the ball over that tall fielder. It's Santana once again. The ball seems to be following him. He's gone straight up. Somebody's called at long off. And the safest hands in that team, Martin Guptill says it's mine. And takes the catch. Another wicket has fallen. Not an easy pitch to slog the spinners. It is the end of Shreya Sire for six. It's 48 for four. Few people may be just wondering why Hardik Pandya didn't come up the order. Maybe it was the Sodhi factor. Sodhi was expected to bowl at this stage and he has struggled against the leg spinner. Very wide. 
almost got to that one bounce it was in the end love the way he attacked the ball martin guptill again well he's gone up up and over and that's why he's so good hardik pandya to be able to play a shot like that without using your feet just sheer power and timing he's walked in is there enough power in this one oh well done absolutely brilliant we see this very often these days santa once again the man flies in the air and just to flex the ball to his fielder was on the ground 62 for five interesting to see mahindra singh dhoni has come in after manish pandey and hardik pandey yeah some real deception good fielding as well this is excellent bowling finds the block hole again they'll get a single they might attempt a suicidal second hardik pandya wants it no says dhoni so they get just six runs from the over that's exceptional from trent bowl so in this uh, extremely shortened game but there were just eight overs india managing 67should be taken on the edge of the circle about 10 yards back sander catches it this time <laughs> sander catches it it was an easy catch i mean it was in the air for a long time but really shikhar dhawan had no choice but to go after it i mean sander in the kind of catching form he's been and he's an outstanding fielder make no mistake but on this trip he's let go a few his heart would have been in his mouth as also tim saudi as also kane williamson but all is well that ends well and uh, he's taken the catch to get rid of Shikhar Dhawan for six. It's 15 for one. Gets all of it. There's a fielder there. The catch is taken. And then guess what? Mitch Santner is making up for all those catches he dropped. He's made this look easier than it actually was. It was a tough one. That ball was dropping. Again, a slow off cutter. Short on the leg stump. Rohit Sharma. He knows that there is no option. He's got to go for the big shot. Not quite able to control it. It's bounced a little bit more. And a fine catch from Santner. Tim Saudi, he's now on a hat trick. He's taken both the openers. Roy Sharma has gone for eight. 15 for two. There he goes. It's in the air. And the catch will be taken. Virat Kohli looking for room on the onside. A bit cramped. Two run on the Purim fall silent. He was looking to get onto the back foot, give himself time to play the pull shot. He knew this wasn't a page where he could hit in the V in the front. In a funny way too, I think that's a better length from his sooty than what we saw when he was hit back over his head for six. Because it's not coming onto the bat, it's a big boundary square of the wicket too. You have to time and get every bit of it if you want to hit it for six. It's got to go, I think. There he goes. So kohli has gone for 30 and it's 30 for three. gone straight up somebody's call at long off and the safest hands in that team Martin Guptill says it's mine and takes the catch another wicket has fallen not an easy pitch to slog the spinners that's why India are still in this game this is a tough batting pitch trying to go to the leg side again straight up good catch safe hands Martin Guptill that is the end of Shreya Sire for six. It's 48 for four. He's walked in. Is there enough power in this one? Oh, well done. Absolutely brilliant. We see this very often these days. Santa, once again, the man flies in the air and just deflects the ball to his fielder was on the ground. Yeah, well, you've been wondering all series while we've been saying Mitch Santner is a brilliant fieldsman and the catches he's put down have been out of character. Watch this. This is as good as you'll see. This is like Hardik Pandya in Delhi. In the air, flicks it up. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Mitch Santner. And Trent Bolt knows it. Fair delivery. You could show. Nothing wrong with the front foot. It's the boundary. Sensational. No Happy other with that. Words for her. That I'm is ready brilliant. with the decision.
the decision is out. Love the calm finish with De Grandom when he took that catch. In the record books, it will say caught De Grandom. The loss of five wickets. Let's not forget, this is the decider. The team that wins this game wins the series, the Paytm T20 series. So that's what New Zealand need to win that. From 48 balls at 8.50 runs per over. Of Martin Gupto. It's a good one, hasn't quite got going. And this uh, tour is much better in Rajkot, and Colin Munro was brilliant. Let's see what the Indian seamers do. Like that. Advancing, wow! What a way to start that is for Colin Munro. That's just a stunning hit. And again, brilliant from Kumar. Bhuvi strikes. Another slower ball, a wild swipe across the line from Guptill. India strike. Guptill's gone for one, eight for one. New Zealand skipper has come to the crease. Lost Martin Guptill, just the one to his name. Advancing, this should be gone as well. Munro this time, cloths it in the air, and right Sharma. Yes, it is. Takes a very, very fine catch. We've seen some good ones tonight. That's up there with them. The big wicket as well of Munro. Man in form, and the timing of the wicket as well. It'll keep India's belief in the innings. Colin Munro goes for seven. The second wicket falling at eight for New Zealand. Well, Kane Williamson's on strike, but that's Glenn Phillips. A lot of pressure on this uh, young man. This one swung into the gap at mid-wicket. And it'll be four. It's been wide, though, from Bhuvanesh for Kumar, and it's swung away for four. Just a single director will be interesting here. Yes, it is. Brilliantly done by Hardik Pandya. You could see the batter was struggling, but they were committed to the single. And it really was all to do with Hardik Pandya's throwing arm there. Hardik Pandya, he gets rid of the New Zealand skipper for eight. 28 for three. Oh, and the man and his Colin de Grand Homme. Oh, and he's got all of that as a field run underneath it. He takes it easily, does Shikhar Dhawan. Sunil Gavaskar said, make or break for New Zealand. At the moment, it's looking more break than make. He has two wickets, back-to-back -back balls. So Phillips out for 11, 28 for 4. Right, he's connected that beautifully for 6. So the over was going India's way. He's finished in New Zealand's way. 36 for 4 after 5, 32 now to get. Right, he's got the top edge, there's a fielder there, the catch is taken. Shreya Sayur takes the catch. Another wicket gone, 39 for 5, Nickens gone for 2. What an opportunity for Tom Bruce. 4. Just went a little over, was looking for the Yorker, was about a foot over and was very easily put away by Bruce. Now that's going to be wide as well. They've decided. Oh, he's missed the run out. And they'll complete a second as well. The throw is with Dhoni. There might be a run out at that end. I'm ready with the decision. So another wicket goes down, it was one New Zealand could well have done without. Bruce for four, it's 48 for six. Right, Mitch Santner. Towards the end in that first one day, I hit some big shots. Connects, but he won't get a run, it doesn't matter if he didn't complete the catch. Is he hurt though? Doesn't matter, he's got a ball, four balls. But it's running away from New Zealand this night, he's running away quickly as he hurt himself badly. He does, or does he? The fielder will watch it sail over for six. So just breathe some life into this game. 12 of three, picked it beautifully. 
Right, there's a hit. There's the fielder. It drops well short. They'll come back for two, but it doesn't matter. All he's got to do now is ensure that he's bowled a legal ball. This is a good over so far from Hardik Pandya. The bowlers have given him runs to play with. It's eight of one. Plays a shot. There is a man in the deep. It doesn't matter. India have defended what seemed the undefendable. Just 67, but this wasn't an easy surface to bat on. And I think you'll find the likes of Bumrah and Panda and especially Chahal of Bol And again, brilliant from Kumar. Bhuvi strikes. Another slow ball, a wild swipe across the line from Guptal. India strike. Did you see that knuckleball? That's the question. Was he looking to slog a slow delivery or he's been completely deceived? Not a great choice of shot when you're looking to hit an outswinger, a ball that swings, his knuckleball swings. And he was trying to go over mid wicket. So high risk shot. Low probability as well of that coming off. So Dutch has gone for one, eight for one. Advancing, this should be gone as well. Munro this time, cloths it in the air, and right Sharma. Yes, it is. Takes a very, very fine catch. We've seen some good ones tonight. That's up there with them. The big wicket as well of Munro. Man in form, and the timing of the wicket as well. Will keep India's belief in the innings. Yeah, it was up in the air. It's never easy when you have to run from mid on. Back pedal, and then look at that. Clinging till the last second, not allowing that uh, dive to let go of the ball and it's an outstanding catch by Rohit Sharma. Colin Munro goes for seven, the second wicket falling at eight for New Zealand. Just a single director will be interesting here, yes it is! Brilliantly done by Hardik Pandya. You could see the batter was struggling but they were committed to the single. And it really was all to do with Hardik Pandya's throwing arm there. So New Zealand lose one more, but more important, they don't get a run. The new superstar of Indian cricket. And the crowd were on their feet. Every right to be all smiles. Hardik Pandya, he gets rid of the New Zealand skipper for eight. 28 for three. Right, he's got all of that as a field run, and he did. He takes it easily, does Shikhar Dhawan. Sunil Gavaskar said make or break for New Zealand. At the moment it's looking more break than make. He has two wickets back to back balls. First one directed from out from a brilliant throw from Hardik Pandya. And then going for the big hit. It's the wrong one, he's picked the wrong ball. It's uh, against the turn, it's got the toe end of the bat. Shikhar Dhawan takes the catch and then does the gappa. Gappar Singh. So Phillips out for 11, 28 for 4. Well, he's got the top edge, there's a fielder there, the catch is taken. Shreya Sayur takes the catch. Going for the sweep, getting a leading edge. Good running catch that by Shreya Sayur. And just like Trent Bolt had a bit of difficulty picking the ball up in the background, the crowd, I think. Same might have happened uh, to Shreya Sayer. Good running catch that. Another wicket gone. 39 for 5. Nickens gone for 2. Now that's going to be wide as well. They've decided. Oh, he's missed the run out. And they've completed second as well. The throw is with Dhoni. There might be a run out at that end. I think they're going to get a referral at the striker's end. There's a referral for a run outside on replay there. I'm ready with the decision. going to be a second all it required was for uh, Pandya to send a decent return in and Dhoni did the rest so another wicket goes down it was one New Zealand could well have done without Bruce for four it's 48 for six presently 
and India win by six. And so not the highest scoring head over game you'll ever see, but uh, very gripping in every sense of the word. The match was gripping, the ball was gripping on the surface as well. So India win by six runs and win the three-match series 2-1. India haven't lost a limited over series or any series at home since that uh, limited over series against uh, South Africa in late 2015. run victory at Rajkot has leveled the T20 series at one all. But despite the loss, the Blues take the timeout in Rajkot to bring in their captain's 29th birthday. As for the team's tradition, Captain Kohli is smeared with cake. And one member of the Blues is extremely happy with the results. Let us jog your memory a little. Hartik Pandya too was at the receiving end of a cake fest last month. The Blues begin the new day by sending birthday wishes.